Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. Beautiful idea that Chassidah speaks about, the Torah speaks about, is that in the Torah, we have commandments to do positive deeds, to do good deeds, and to stay away from doing bad deeds, to abstain from, refrain, sorry, from doing bad deeds, doing sins. So what happens when a person fails to do a good deed? And what happens when a person does, God forbid, a, a bad deed? Baruch Hashem, Hashem created something that is within the Torah, but yet it penetrates and reaches even higher than the Torah itself, and that is Teshuvah. Teshuvah, my friends, is to return to God, and also part of it is repentance and repairing our mistakes. That yes, the Torah gives us rules not to do this and to do to do X, Y, and Z, and to not do X, Y, and Z. But Baruch Hashem, Hashem created the fact that if you sin, God forbid, you're able to return and repent and fix your mistakes. And that is because God is everlasting. His kindness is everlasting. And not only just do you return to where you were before you sinned, but rather you reach an even higher level when you do true repentance, true teshuvah. Why? Because you not only take you not only bring yourself back to the holy place you were before you sinned, but you take even the darkness, even the lowliness of the sin, and you elevate that itself to a level of holiness when you repent. And that is why, my friends, we should never give up. We should always trust in our Master and always have hope in our Creator, and He will surely deliver us. No matter what you have gone through, Hashem is beyond infinite. He is the source of all of reality, and He can surely fix everything. He created reality. He can surely fix details of reality and even people who have gone through the hardest of struggle struggles low Elena, we should all only know good things and reveal good but even those who god forbid went through difficult times hashem can repair it all even those who lost loved ones hashem we know promises us that he will resurrect the dead and it's one of the 13 principles of faith that we have are obligated to believe and we must believe that hashem will resurrect the dead hashem is the reviver of the dead that is what we say every single day three times a day in our prayer that hashem revives the dead in the present tense and this is something that we have to take into our hearts and live with this reality that hashem is going to revive the dead my friends and this is perfectly fitting for the month of elul we are entering the final month of the year the month of elul where we have to do teshuva, and that Hashem gives us added strength. The Rebbe explains in his his mimer about the verse Ani Ladeidi Vadeidi, which is the Rosh Hashanah, which is the acronym of Elul, which means that everything we do down here, God reflects and does above. That when we take a step towards God down here, Hashem takes a step from above towards us, so to speak. Hashem is obviously down here and above at the same time. But the way it seems that Hashem is more hidden down here. But the more we move towards Him, the more He seemingly in a revealed way moves towards us. And the Rebbe takes it a step further and says that not only just does Hashem, that when we go towards Hashem, does Hashem come towards us, but even deeper than that, Hashem gives us the strength in the first place to come close to Him. So this is something to take to our hearts and to get ready for the new month. And again, I'm re-emphasizing that I'm going to Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, the Rashbi, the holy tzaddik who gave the world the Zohar, a master of our people, a leader of our people, an everlasting leader, the Moshe Rabbeinu, the Moses of his generation. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, I will be going to his holy resting place and I will be praying for all of you to Hashem in this holy location, so please, I've gone a great amount of names, and I expect to get Bezrat Hashem even more, and I'm looking forward to pray for you all, and of course, it is also a good idea to give tzedakah before going to a holy location, you can support the Torah channel, so we can continue to do beautiful activities as such, to increase in our endeavors, any amount counts, no matter how big, or how seemingly small, every donation is infinite, there's no such thing as a small donation, if you could help support us, it would be greatly Appreciate. May Hashem bless you all. And we experience the coming of Mashiach today, where we will experience the revelation of Hashem in this world. We will experience, we will see our master, which is the most ex pleasurable experience possible. Any pleasure we can even think of imagining is of no comparison to even the slightest glimpse of the revelation of God Almighty. May Hashem bless you all. Let's get excited about this.